Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I hit a draw on demand with the driver. And this video has been really prompted by a few students of mine. Now, recently I teamed up with Hole 19. Hole 19 is an application you can download to your phone and just use it as a GPS tool for absolutely free. Now, a couple of my students use the application, they record their statistics as well, which is another feature that you can also choose to do if you wanted to. But what they've sort of been showing me, some of my students, is how they're having difficulty on certain holes. And what's great is they've been able to take little sort of screen recordings of the holes where they're having difficulty. And it's quite often the tee shots where there is trouble on the left-hand side for a right-handed golfer. Now, the reason for this is that the students in mind, which would be very similar to many golfers that are watching this video, is you have sort of over-the-top tendencies. Now, what I mean by over-the-top tendencies is, as you start the downswing, we sort of fire this sort of trail side forward, which kind of makes you feel like you're gonna always be swinging across the golf ball, and therefore you're always sort of guiding the club in towards the trouble that you're trying to avoid, on the, particularly on the left-hand side. So this obviously sparks a reaction of opening the face, and next thing you know, you're really struggling because you might not hit it into the trouble on the lead side, but just the visual problem of it being there is a significant enough to cause a bad tee shot. And some of the students therefore end up just not bothering to use driver. And that's why I think learning how to hit a draw is a really useful skill. So how would I suggest that you guys go about it? Well, there's a couple of things. The first thing is what we need to do is we need to be practicing hitting up on the golf ball. So the way I'd suggest that you do this is you can practice this without a club first and get yourself up against the wall at home and just make some swings back and through where you're swinging all the way up and through and you don't wanna let your hands move into the wall, okay? So if your hands are moving progressively closer to the wall, then that basically means that you've got these over the top tendencies. You wanna be kind of moving your hands up and that's gonna help you trigger a much better pivoting action. So you should start to notice the way when you're doing these swings, your trail shoulder will drop more downward, your hands will go more upward. It's more like so, as opposed to this type of motion. That's gonna be the sort of, you know, slicey uh, lack of confidence when there's trouble on that left-hand side. So that would be the first thing you wanna be practicing. The second thing, therefore, that you wanna then be doing is you wanna make sure, because you're gonna be trying to hit more up on the ball with these types of feelings, and you can imagine if you do some practice swings down the driving range, that you wanna imagine that wall is behind you so your hands are really swinging very much up. So then what you need to do is if you are gonna start being brave and swinging more up, you need to make sure similar to what you've got here, you've got a nice high tee peg. So if you tee the ball golf ball too low, that's, that's gonna be a problem. Because if you're gonna try and hit up on the ball and you're teeing the golf ball too low, well then you're gonna end up obviously miss hitting the ball. So you can obviously experiment with this. I'm not suggesting there's a particular height that you need to be doing, but I would say if you're gonna try and hit the draw, the higher the better. And then the last thing that you need to do, which is I'm sure you've probably gathered, is if you're going to start swinging more up on the golf ball, so you're going to basically be guiding the club more towards the right hand side of the target, then what we need to ensure is that we are closing the club face. Because as you start to make these alterations in your swing, by simply avoiding contact with the wall behind you and simply teeing the golf ball much higher is going to help us hit more up on the ball. So it's going to change our attack angle into a more positive attack, which is what we need. But what it's also going to do is it's going to move what's known as your swing direction more towards the right of the target, which again is the correct thing. But therefore, if we're going to be swinging more that way, we have to get a feeling of the club face closing. And most golfers really struggle with accentuating enough rotation of the club. So again, I would personally suggest that your big priority is to feel, first of all, and you know, against the wall, swinging more up. And then what you can start to do is really feel like you're trying to close the club face with much more arm rotation than you would normally use. And that's how you are going to hit a draw and demand. So for myself, personally speaking, that's what I would do. I'd go through a process where I would have my normal stance, my normal grip, a much higher um, teed up golf ball. And then for myself, I would be reducing rotational thoughts in the downswing. And I'd be kind of getting more of a feeling of, kind of almost feeling like, because my body's gonna go more up. It's like I'm slowing the rotation down and I'm allowing my arms to come down and swing more up and to the right hand side. Because as I do that, then that's gonna help me swing more to the right and then as long as I get that feeling of closing that club face that's going to give me that ability to start the ball to the right hand side 
and curve it further around towards the left. So depending on your swing style and your swing shape would depend on how much you need to exaggerate this. There are obviously going to be some golfers who can already hit the draw and therefore you don't need to be accentuating some of those feelings because the last thing you want to do is do too much and it becomes too hook biased. But if I've got a hole where I want to start the ball towards that right hand side and get it drawing back in or whether I want to sneak a bit more distance that's the sort of process that I'll be going through. More of a feeling of up and more of a feeling of closing the club face. Hopefully it's helped. I'll see you soon.